It started off with Santa bringing him his first bicycle at the age of three. I said, son, once you get those training wheels off, I'll buy you your first motorcycle. Bad mistake on my part. A day later, he's like, Dad, I'm ready to take these training wheels off. So I uh, pushed him off and he took off without the training wheels on his little push bike. And he got out about a block down the road and I started chasing him. And sure enough, he tipped over at the end, but he looked up at me and instead of crying, he goes, uh, Dad, can I have my motorcycle now? So I was gonna stay true to my word and sure enough, I, uh, we got him a pocket bike and he could barely touch the ground. We got him a full helmet and the helmet was bigger than he was. Took him to a big open field. And I kind of go over the controls with him and yeah, yeah, Dad, yeah, yeah, Dad, can I go? <laughs> he twisted it and he was gone. And I thought, oh no. <laughs> and it looked like the throttle was stuck. He had the death grip, fear look. Did a big circle in this field and he started coming back and I thought, Okay, I'm just gonna reach out and grab him off the bike and let the bike go off in the distance. And as he gets closer, he steers away from me and all I hear out of the helmet is, woohoo! So I thought, okay, I'm screwed. <laughs> he was hooked at age three on motorcycles. I just thought it was so cool that I could go so fast and everything was a blur and I got to do it myself and I got to control it. And no one could tell me what to do at that point. I was really free and, and I think I always held on to that. My name is Haven Jarrell and I live in a warehouse that is set up as the best workshop I could ever imagine. My name is Mark Jarrell. This is our shop, our living space, uh, dream factory, call it a lot of things. Don't share the shop with anybody except my son. My dad and I have a really, really strong relationship. We both like surfing, building motorcycles and cars and really anything that moves or has wheels. In our shop, we spend a lot of time on our projects. We uh, gave up TV before he was born. I uh, really pushed the point, if you can imagine it, we can build it. I've never really had TV, same with video games. They take up a lot of time where I could, instead of be doing that, using my imagination to create or design something that could change my whole life or make someone smile. I've got pictures of him building an Iron Man helmet, welding the helmet together when he was six years old. And we built together a lot of fun toys. And as he got older, the projects just started getting a little bigger. Uh, started going through some of my old photo albums and noticed that uh, I raced cars and motorcycles. It led to him building his first real motorcycle. My favorite detail about building this motorcycle specifically is that I did it. No one else did it. No one else told me what to do with it. I did it based on what I thought was right. When I first got this bike, um, well, I was amazed. I wasn't expecting that at all. I got it for Christmas, my, right before my 13th birthday. The condition I was in when I got it was not like it is now. It was a trail bike, and most people would see it just as a hunk of junk, but I had a vision in my mind of what I could do with it. I got a bigger motor. Before it was a CL70, and now it's a CL110. Instead of the big, clunky high bars for trail bikes. I got a club and drop bars and barn mirrors. The, on the front end, the fork tubes, there's these tin sleeves that hold the headlight on. I took those off and put really race kind of triangular brackets. I made my own seat bracket. Once I got it to a point where I thought I could start taking it to the next level, I figured I would take it to Deus just to see what they would think. Once he rode in on this motorcycle, everybody thought, wow, that's a, that's a really cool bike. And then he took his helmet off, and everybody was like, are you kidding me? He's 13. And then they found out he built it. They instantly invited him. It was an invitational event for this biker build-off thing. Immediately got home that night and started tearing his bike down. And I found out a good opportunity for me to build a bike on the bench right next to him. That's a dream come true for most dads. 
day of the event showed up and sure enough, there were some amazing vehicles there and a lot of people. There was five places, three trophies. When they started doing the announcements, I thought maybe I had a chance to get an honorable mention. Once they went through fifth and fourth, I wanted to see who third was and as soon as they said, you all know him, he's on a CL110 and he has a bright future, everyone started screaming. I didn't know why, but then he said my name and I went up and it was the craziest thing I've ever felt in my whole life. It was really cool to be his dad and uh, watch all that happen. It was great to see him succeed on his own. I expect amazing things from him. I asked him, I said, uh, you know, you're getting old now, you're 14 years old, do you want a car when you grow up? He said, well, yeah. I said, well, you better get started building it because I'm not going to buy it for you. And he believed me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's actually building his own car now at 14. Uh, I have a Volkswagen chassis and motor that I'm hopefully wanting to make kind of a race car out of it and shorten the pan like eight inches and put a a fiberglass replica of a Porsche 356 coupe on it and make kind of an outlaw. My son and I talk a lot about the future and what we would like to do, but in reality, as much as you plan, it's always going to change. Last few months of building and uh, being at these events and talking to people have uh, developed into some amazing opportunities for both he and I. So I'm anxious. I, I can't wait to see what the future brings for both of us. I just know that I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and having fun and trying new things and hopefully I'll fall in love with something that will just drive me for the rest of my life that I want to stick with.